is the Belmont Middle and High School Building Committee video update. I'm Bill Lavallo, Chair of the Committee. I'm here with Pat Bruce, Vice Chair, and we're here to talk about the COVID impacts to the building project. Pat, we had COVID impacts, didn't we? We sure did. No one, uh, we were not uh, excluded from that. And what would you want to say were some of the biggest impacts? Well, I think we put it into three categories, basically uh, impacts to our schedule, uh, lots of impacts to the construction site practices and how construction is usually done, and then cost. Always cost, yes. Well, what's the schedule uh, impacts? I mean, we, we hear about the material availability all the time. That impacted us, for sure. That impacted us a lot and is still impacting us. Yeah, you're right. I mean, we, we are still missing things. We had to make changes of things because we couldn't get what we wanted, anything with a computer chip. Yeah, that was delayed, right? Forget, yeah. and... and uh, All the way down to cafeteria tables. Were cafeteria impacted. tables. We had temporary tables to open up the school just because yeah. they were not ready yet. Uh, but under contract, they, they have to deliver those, so things are still back, back ordered and we are getting made whole. We are getting made whole, and yes, in, indeed, uh, this summer all the teacher podiums were delivered to their desks so they can teach the way they were intended to do the art. Music stuff was really bad. Yeah, that's true, too. And that was a huge impact. So you could still learn and you could still teach, but all of your material was sitting on the floor. Yeah. So, so the safety protocols were, were a big issue, and our, our construction team, uh, led by our owner's project manager, really made sure that uh, proper protocols were met. Why don't we talk about a little of those? Sure. Um, they ranged from everything from wearing masks, like everybody else had to do. Uh, we were very fortunate uh, here because we had the, the COVID, when COVID hit, we were outside. And when I say outside, we were outside pouring foundation. So we were putting up steel. So very, so, you know, open areas, very distant workers there. Fewer workers, actually, right? Lots fewer workers yeah. and, and social distancing on that was no problem on the site. Uh, people were 100 feet apart because that's how long the beam was. Yeah. So, you know, things like that happened. We had uh, staggered work hours, yep. cleaning constantly. Um, I think that overall, we were fortunate that uh, it hit at two times. One, uh, it hit right after we had our bids in. Yes. So cost was, was somewhat protected, most of our bids. And then two, like you said, it was the start of construction when you don't have a complete building or, or buildings closed in. So we didn't have some of that issue to deal with. Right. Cost is about the biggest one. Yes. <laughs> so uh, as I said, good news, right? We, we've had most of the bids in when COVID hit. So we were locked in for those. The changes were an impact. Every time we had a change, we had to deal with the cost increases as a result yes. of COVID. Uh, what else did we have? Um, we had some costs due to all the safety procedures. Well, all the safety things, all the cleaning supplies. Yeah. We had to put in extra toilets. We had to put lots of sinks everywhere. Temporary. We, yeah. we had to, it's temporary. There, so we had to take there them, were trailers. Them in, take them out, yeah. We had to get a trailer that was heated so the workers had a protected place to go for lunch, but they could then only go for lunch in, in shifts. Um, we had gosh, I'm trying to think. What else? Well, I would say that there was a variety of things. We actually did a due diligence after, more recently, I'd say at the yes. end of last year, to say what was the real cost impact of COVID from the safety protocols, from uh, additional changes that required us to, to deal with the new pricing as a result of COVID. And our estimate, uh, backed up by the detail from the team, was approximately $4.5 million. Yes. Not a small number when you look at the project at all really took a bite out of, of our budget for contingency. And so how do we pay for that, right? So we, there were a few things that we did. Right, uh, the federal government gave the state money, which the state gave to the cities and towns, uh, came in two batches. Uh, $300,000 was called the CARES Act, and that was very specific things that you could do. And then uh, the ARPA funding that has come since then uh, that ha is much more flexible in, in how you use it. Uh, that we have Two, two half one. million dollars, so that's a million dollars plus the three hundred, so one point so three, three million, million dollars there. is what what we're going to to be able to get from that, and that is money that the taxpayer then um, has not had to spend either on COVID or on the building, yeah. uh, and that's very fortunate, and also helps the building 
get finished the way it was intended to be finished. But then we had to roll up our sleeves and work for the balance of that. And, and a lot of it came out of contingency funds. Right. And we had to rebuild contingency. And, and doing that meant we looked for areas of uh, value that we could change on products or things uh, to make up a, a cost difference. Some of that was in the fields where we didn't have commitments yet. Uh, all in all, uh, the project is on budget. When we say it costs us additional money, that is not additional taxpayer money. That's money that we had to find within our budget. Right. So the project remains on budget, even with the COVID impacts, remains on schedule because of the, the fantastic work that our team did, as well as the workers. We opened phase one over here on time for last year's school, and we will be opening uh, the middle school side phase two on time next year for the fall of the 2023 school year. Pat, wait a minute. For the, for the uh, listeners here, uh, $4.5 million in costs. It's not all about toilets. Oh my gosh, no, it's not all toilets. Uh, time is money. And uh, so we, we spent a lot of money on personnel, on labor, on things we had to do. I mean, we needed to have, we needed to have somebody track anybody it's who had management. COVID. Yeah. Remember, all, all that, remember we tracking. had the d daily tracking. Yeah. It wasn't just taking somebody's temperature, but it was, you know, following them when they got tracing. tested, contact tracing within Sometimes the, the whole crew team had to go out. Right. Um, but really also it was project management. Uh, the, the people that were rescheduling and then resourcing, you talked about that earlier right. with the material. And so we had to bring more project management in simply to manage all of the challenges with COVID for over a year. Right, yeah. right. And, and so yeah. collectively with the cost of uh, increases for the additional things that we had to uh, buy outside of the original bid, it all added up to the four point. It did all add up, yeah. yeah. So Bill, one other thing that I think um, people find very interesting is by having Skanska be a nationwide, I think a worldwide, worldwide company, firm, yeah. right. They were able, able to jump on things right away and uh, they did things like our steel was all in Canada. And that could have created huge problems for us because Canada closed their borders right away. But Skanska got all our steel pulled into the United States. I think New York State is yep. where it all got brought over the border. And then from there, it got dispersed to us eventually. But and, this and was, another thing, this they're saved a big, us a lot of money. And they're a big contract, uh, construction management firm, and they were able to pull their resources right. to bring workers here when otherwise uh, there was a shortage of workers, right? So they were able to bolster right. their their uh, Belmont's position using uh, their resources. Uh, so a, a big thanks to them. It, that, and, it and, and really I, made a huge thank you difference. For, yeah, for saying that, using so, a large company. So again, uh, thanks for joining us. This is uh, a Belmont Middle and High School Building Committee video update. Uh, and I will be back again with another update in a short time. Thank you.